a uh, couple reasons to do a drop camp you know quite frankly this time of year it's super hot it must be 90 degrees in the middle of the day and uh, there is no way you're gonna backpack an elk out uh, 10 plus miles so we're 10 miles in and uh, you're, you're just not gonna do it if you try you'll you'll probably ruin some of the meat and it's a bad deal that's wanting waste of wildlife so you need to do horseback of some sort if you don't have your own stock then do a drop camp even if you do have your own stock chris and i were talking he has horses he might still do a drop camp just because you got to trailer them here from wherever you live and then you got to deal with them you have to water them every day um feed them you just got to deal with them and so drop camps are kind of nice a guided hunt could be anywhere from 65 to 8500 dollars sometimes you know a drop camp for 3500 or four grand uh tents food everything dropped in elk packed out, you packed out, all of that can be well worth it. A lot of outfitters offer, offer a drop camp and they're going to drop you in their designated camp spot with the Forest Service um, or you know or one of them. They have many of them. Well uh, generally speaking that's probably good hunting. They're not going to register a camp with the Forest Service in country that's not good hunting. So you kind of eliminate a lot of your country and a lot of your pre-scouting and and learning of the country and, and whatnot by going in on a drop camp. Take me to a drop camp. Uh, this is what I'm looking for. You and the outfitter visit about it and he'll drop you in. Uh, and have the wall tent set up, have all the cook gear here, brings in the food, and um, you can start hunting. So you don't have to think about shopping, tents, water. So anyway, all that is generally here. Cots, tents, uh, cooking equipment, and then basic food, which even in horseback, generally you're dealing with mountain house type, uh, oatmeal, you know, little stuff in the middle of the day. So anyway, obviously the weight, just the, the task at hand to be able to access country you wouldn't otherwise be able to access. And then getting your elk out or deer, whatever it is. And then, uh, you know, just being able to hunt country you're not able to hunt on your back. You know, if you're comfortable hunting, uh, you know what you're doing and whatnot. Um, done it a few times. You know, maybe you don't need a guide, and so, but you need a little extra help. You just need that little incentive. A lot of these guys are checking in on inReach. Hey, why don't you try this tank or that tank or this country or that country? And it just, it's kind of somebody to bounce some ideas off of, where otherwise you wouldn't have that. You'd just be learning from scratch. But a lot of times, when especially archery hunting, guys have their own style and you know it's just nice to be able to do what you want to do and to hunt on your own and, and whatnot when the elk are bugling it's not rocket science you can do it um, but guides are nice too so anyway if you don't need a guide drop camps are a, a very in, you know inexpensive so to speak alternative plus it gives you a leg up and it allows you to access country you would not otherwise access um, but guided hunts are great too so either way when you're 10 plus miles back in, you need to be dropped in or guided. And it's probably going to be horseback. So those are your options. Otherwise, apply for stuff you can hunt out of a vehicle, forward or side by side, whatever.